Alrighty, Gatekeeper here. This is uh, the cleanest Cobra 25 that I have, uh, period, at the moment. <clears throat> this, is, uh, this is pretty much in superb condition. Superb condition. Um, before I'd done anything to it, it had been, it had been peaked and tuned. It had been uh, realigned, or shall I say a double check alignment to make sure everything was good there on the old scope and everything. And that was it. I went ahead and did a few things to it before I posted on eBay here. The uh, meter light uh, was not working. The meter light was not working. So what I did was I actually uh, put together about a four indicator blue LED little uh, bundle there and uh, put it in there behind that meter right there and um, tied it in with the on and off switch as you can see to me you can't even tell that it ain't it ain't an actual blue meter with the LED stuck in it <laughs> So uh, it's got its own independent independent powering. So the uh, the bright and dim is going to be just doing the display the uh, display channel now. That's going to stay that that bright right there. Meter works perfectly. Actually, the meter works very well. The meter works really well. You can actually just watch the meter while you're doing your dead key and kind of learn where you know one watt is and all that. It works very well, very well. I went ahead and installed the old gatekeeper variable voltage uh, dead key variable control. Okay. Also went ahead and added some talk back. Let's turn this light on here. Went ahead and added some talk back here and added a switch right here in the back to turn the talk back on and off. One thing I cannot stand is a radio with talk back with no way to turn that damn thing off. <laughs> So you got a way to turn that talk back on and off. Talk back sounds wonderful, by the way. No squilling, no feedback. I got the perfect value for it right there. And uh, last but not least, I threw a um, 400 and, uh, 4,700 uh, microfarad, 4,700 microfarad electrolytic on the DCN. Filter out any... Uh, Unwanted transient noises from dirty voltage, alternator wine, etc., etc. So, all right, let me show you everything on this radio works. This radio is in superb condition. Superb condition. All the LEDs work just fine on the display. Channel 9 button works just fine. Bright and dim works just fine. Filter works just fine. You can see the difference in the meter if you look really close and turn the filter on and off. You can see it moving there just a little bit. You can do that better when the, you get some uh, active, you know, talking out there. And the uh, CBPA works just fine. Okay, here's a squelch knob. Squelch it out. Alright, you get your dynamite knob. Mic gain works perfectly. And this is your dead key variable. Now what I did for the uh, dead key variable is I have a different knob on it than the other three or four. Just uh, kind of just give you an indication. You don't forget that's the dead key variable in the RF gain. All right, let's go ahead and show you the dead key and how smooth it is. How good the dead key variable is working. All right, this dead key variable will turn all the way down to no dead key at all. There we go. 
No dickie at all. See, some people actually like to to turn that dead key all the way down and slowly move it up to the box keys. So I guess this is for y'all. We'll slowly start turning it up. So you can turn that thing all the way down to a half a watt. So look at that, one half a watt. And we'll slowly start going up. And the dead key on this uh, goes up to about four, four and a half watts. Yeah, pretty close right there, 3.84 watts. My thing ain't radios. I hadn't really played around with radios a lot. I can, like I have amplifiers. So I don't know, quite know why some radios have uh, bigger dead keys than other. Look how smooth this is. Look at that, look at that. That's that vol uh, variable voltage right there, but that's that variable voltage regulator. It's that TIP transistor. Look at that smoothness up and down. All right. I'm going to show you on the actual meter of the radio. See what I'm saying? So you just set that dead key where you want. All the way down. All the way up. I'm going to set it there about one watt. Where I like to keep it at. Alrighty. About one watt. Let's go ahead and show you an output. Alrighty, I'm peaking right there about 23 watts. All right, you're right there about 23 watts. Woo! Right there about 23 watts. Not not too bad for still factor 2078 in there. And uh, one last thing I did forget to uh, say, it does have a swing kit. So no matter what you got that dead key variable at, you can turn that thing all the way wide open, it's still going to do the same swing. Oh, tear, 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 See them radios stacked down there and I put dead key variables, swing kits, and every single one of them, and I still got about three or four more to go. Sometimes an emergency comes on, you know, and you gotta take care of an emergency. It's just the way it rolls. Alrighty. Alright, top back is not turned on. We're gonna blow up back here and flip this switch. Audio testing. Audio test. One, two, three, four, five. Audio test. Check, check, check. Turn that volume up a little bit. No squeal. No feedback. No hum. Just good talkback. Good quality talkback. Throw you an echo board in this thing. You got talkback ready to go. Audio testing, testing. Let's get into the mic real good, just like this right here. Audio testing. One, two, three, four, five. Audio test. Gatekeeper technology. Getting down out here in the backwoods of Georgia. 1,000, 1,883. Getting down and we go. <laughs> well, there you go. 
good talk back. This thing's ready to roll. So I hope uh, whoever gets it enjoys it. I will be adding a uh, yeah, the external speaker. I just unplugged just to say the internal speaker works just fine. You can hear it right there. Alrighty. Well, whoever gets it, hope you enjoy. On to the next. Gatekeeper said it. God bless. 73's all them magic numbers. I'm good and I'm cowpicking gone.